ladies and gentlemen, it is officially Seattle Seahawks week again. Yeah, that's right. Two weeks ago, the San Francisco 49ers traveled to Seattle Thursday night football on Thanksgiving and defeated them. The greatest part of that game was the 49ers got to enjoy some turkey in the middle of Seattle's field and rub it in their faces. And that was poetic justice because the last time the 49ers and Seahawks played on Thanksgiving, yeah, you guessed it. The Seahawks beat the 49ers and got to enjoy Turkey on the 50-yard line of Levi Stadium. So definitely a great moment, a great poetic justice type moment for the fans and the 49ers in general. One of the biggest reasons why the 49ers won that game was because Charverius Mooney Ward shut down DK Metcalf. That was one of the marquee matchups. And going into this Sunday, that is going to be another marquee matchup round two between these two guys if you remember dk metcalf was held to one catch for 14 yards on six total targets against mooney Trivarius ward it was a dominating performance by mooney he was all over him and today mooney ward you know he got some respect from dk metcalf so game recognized game for dk metcalf he went on to the media his press conference and he raved about DK and he gave him his flowers. So pretty cool of DK Metcalf to realize, you know what? This guy, he clamped me up. I got nothing bad to say. I respect DK Metcalf for that. But I'm excited for round two. You know he's going to want to play better than he did that last game. And he wants to go out and prove something. So I'm hyped up for this Sunday's game. And I, for one, cannot wait for round two of Mooney Ward versus DK Metcalf. I got the clip of what DK Metcalf said today. So you guys take a listen to that. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I think Traverius has mentioned that he likes shadowing you or he enjoys that, that matchup uh, against you. Do you have like some mutual respect and enjoy that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, any corner who can travel with me for, you know, a whole duration of a game is I have mad respect for. Is there a way that, is there something that stands out about his game versus maybe other corners that have shadowed you before? Um, no, because a lot of the corners who tend to shadow me often have the same makeup. They're not going to back down from a fight, and they're pretty good at man-to-man -man coverage.